Hello everyone, I am Lucky Prasanna back on the channel Myth Mavens. Yes, today I am here back to explain you something about geometry which is everywhere around us. Today in this part 1, I am going to take you to the tour of basic geometrical shapes, basic geometrical ideas. Well, what do we see around us? We see some lines, we see chairs, we see sofas, we see some balls, we see uh, a plant. But yes, everything has a shape. Some are curved, some are straight, some are crossed. So we have different, different things. So now to understand that, let us start with the basic thing. That is, this is called as a point from which a curve or a line starts. Or this is also called as an origin or the starting point. So this point is the source from where ray starts. What is the ray? Ray starts from one side and extends infinitely towards the end. That means there is no end to a ray. It continues towards moving towards the end. But yes, there is one more side which is called as a line. Line. What is a line? A line starts, but yes, it extends infinitely to both the directions. Towards the left, towards the right. But my question is, do we only find something, a point, something called a ray or something called a line in the nature? No. We find something called curves. So where do we observe our curves? Yes, the hair strands are curved. The plant is a curved one. The, curve, the curvature of a sofa is a curved one. So yes, these lines and these curves together constitute the pictures around the nature, pictures in the nature. So yes, but curves also can give you something called closed figure. That means a curve can give you a circle. A curve need not always give you a closed figure, but it can give you a spring. So what is the difference between a circle and here? Where the two ends, that is the starting point and the ending point of a curve, touches each other, then it is called as a closed curve. What is it? It is called as a closed curve. That means it encloses some area. If I erase like this, does it form a closed curve? No. It is an open curve where the ends doesn't meet. So these are, this is an example of an open curve and this is an example of a closed curve. So once again I would like to repeat, here nature is full of curves, lines, points. That is geometry everywhere. But here we find some curved things, some straight things. These are nothing but you have your lines, you have your curves. So with the curve you can form a closed figure. Also, it cannot be a closed figure. So, when can you call a figure as a closed figure? When two ends, that is the starting point and the ending point of a curve meet each other to form an enclosed area, then it becomes a closed curve. Otherwise, I can have anything like this. It is not at all closed because both the ends don't meet. The same way, Lines also can make you a, give you a closed curve. So yes, we have understood one thing that a closed curve means where both the points, that is the starting point and the ending point meet, it forms a closed curve. Otherwise, it's an open curve. Well, can only curves give you something called closed figure? No, we have even lines that can give you closed figure. Let us see. We have a line just as I have shown here. Let us take a line. Okay. As I told you, line extends infinitely both sides. Line segment is nothing but a part of a line. That is this line AB. I can use it for a polygon. How? I should have one more line. Let us take one more line called CD. Can these two be joined in any fashion to give a polygon? No. We should have one more line called EF. But yes, with these three, I can get a polygon. So, now let us see how a smallest polygon is formed. Let me take 
three lines. So these three lines are required to form a triangle. So if I bring these lines here, I will get the smallest polygon. Why the smallest polygon? I am not telling the smallest in terms of or with respect to its angle measures or the length of the line. It is with respect to the number of line segment used to form a closed figure. So this closed figure is called as a triangle. That is the smallest polygon. So our mathematicians have given some nomenclatures with respect to the number of sides in a polygon. A polygon can have three sides, four sides, five sides, ten sides, hundred sides and so on. But for our benefit and easy use, we have some polygons given a nomenclature by our mathematicians. So now let us look into the nomenclature of the polygons. What do you mean by a nomenclature here? It is nothing but the name given to a, poly to a polygon, right? So as we know, polygon is a three-sided figure. So three-sided figure is called as a triangle. Four-sided figure. What is a four-sided figure? It can be a square or it can be a rectangle, it can be a rhombus, it can be a trapezium, so on and so forth. But when it comes to the next, that is five-sided figure, the word five, it is nothing but pentagon. Next, six is a hexagon, seven, septagon, eight, octagon, nine, nonagon, and ten, we have decagon. So, these are the nomenclatures given to the polygon with specific number of sides for our convenience. But yes, you might get it out. Ma'am, what about a polygon that has n number of sides, infinite, that means the figure can be anything, so big. What can be that polygon? Well, let me tell you. This is a triangle. This is a square. You will have a pentagon like this. You will have a hexagon like this. So on and so forth. The moment you start increasing the number of sides, slowly it will take a circular figure. That means the biggest polygon is nothing but formed by small, small pieces of line segment that constitutes to give you a circle. So this is called as polygons. So this is something about geometry with respect to the real life which we see around us, the basic initial concepts of geometry which I would like to bring it forward to you in part 1. So next episode, surely I am going to take it forward to the next level of angles where you are going to understand what types of angles you find in nature and all. But yes, stay tuned to this and start subscribing our channel. Like. See you again.